Hey guys, Freddy Tech back with another video from CFL Tech. Now we have a media news story from the TV Answer Man, which will be linked down below if you want to check this one out. Now we have an update here on the sports streamer venue. That's the new joint venture here for the new sports streaming app that's supposed to be launching here soon. Now we do have a cost here for $42.99 a month. And the question here on the TV Answer Man site is, does that work for you? So that is a really good question with the pricing. Now we were thinking a few months back when we mentioned this uh, new sports streaming app that we were looking around the $40 range. I think a lot of people were saying that as well because it made sense how it was lower than the live TV streaming services and, you know, a little bit more expensive than the standalone apps that some sports uh, services have. So it's a, a kind of a middle of the road price, but it's very interesting how this will play out as time goes on. Now it says here, Fox, ESPN, and Warner Brothers Discovery this fall are planning to launch a bundled sports streaming service, and now the joint venture has a name and a price venue for $42.99 a month. The three companies today revealed the price in a new press release, so we do know now that's official at the starting rate. And there was some talk about that being a locked rate for 12 months, a guaranteed price. But, you know, we know that the price will go up at some point. So if they give you at least 12 months with the same price, that might be good. But really, is this going to be too expensive for a lot of people? And will a lot of people just stay with YouTube TV or Fubo or DirecTV Stream uh, for the extra $30 to $40 per month? Now, you do spend more on some of the live TV packages that could be well over $100. So, you know, but you're not getting the other channels that are on your typical, you know, cable-like experience. So it's an interesting mix here, this, you know, with how this plays out. Now, they don't want to hurt their other the live TV streaming services with the carriage agreements they have, so they don't want to price themselves too low with those other companies that they're providing their content on with, they're giving them their content. So it's definitely going to be an interesting scenario here, how this plays out. But here are the, you know, the channels that you get. Now, Venue did not provide an exact date for the launch, but it remains to be seen if sports fans will shell out $42.99 a month for a three company streamer. And it goes on here, here to say, albeit, one with the following networks and services. You have pretty good names here, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, SECN, ACCN, ESPN News, ABC, Fox, FS1, FS2, BTN, TNT, TBS, True TV, as well as ESPN+. Plus. So you get a good mix of sports there. You get pretty much everything covered for all the major sporting events. So it's going to be interesting to see how this does uh, once it does launch here. But they're looking to probably get this up and running uh, by the time the NFL season starts or right before that, which makes perfect sense. So we'll see what happens. What are your thoughts on this price? And will you be subscribing to this, or at least trying it? You do get a seven-day free trial, which is good. Um, that's something they really should be doing because you don't want to have people locked in you know well it'll be one month at the most if you can cancel at any time but getting a free trial is always good with any live tv streaming service so we'll see what happens with this but what are your thoughts on this compared to say youtube tv would you just you know would you just continue paying for youtube tv or any other live tv streaming service or would you go with this or maybe you know, use some other standalone apps as well. Now, ESPN is going to be launching another sports app uh, sometime next year uh, for about $25 to $30 a month, a standalone ESPN app. So that's another thing that is part of their under the same umbrella. So when you look at that price versus $40, $44, $42, you know, it's, again, it's a fine line. Um, you have to really have some marketing genius here for this to really work. So it's going to be very interesting to see what plays out with this over the next uh, few months here and going into 2025. So put your comments down below and your thoughts on this. Also, if it's your first time here on the CFL Tech channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops on CFL Tech. Freddie Tech will be checking out of this one. Soon to be back with another. Take care.